Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have an interesting thing to show off. This is a door closer. <laughs> Not a door closer, um, it's the opposite of it. It's a door holder. Um, so what this does is it holds fire doors open. That's why it's called an electromagnetic fire door holder. And um, it's a really powerful electromagnet that basically... Um, it holds onto this part right here. I don't know what this thing is really called. I think it's like, I don't know, we'll just call it the piece of metal that sits on the fire door. So normally when there's no fire alarm, this magnet is being powered. This thing can be powered by three different voltages. It's universal. So we have 12, 120, and then 24 volts. Um, so that's a pretty wide range, suitable for pretty much everything you need it to do. Um, so this part would be attached here because it's magnetized. And then when the fire alarm goes off, mag or the power going to this magnet is cut by the alarm panel and then it drops the magnet and then the fire door can then close because this part would be attached to the door um so yeah now let's go ahead and wire it obviously this is a floor mount magnet they do make magnets that are much more common they're designed to be on the wall and then this just attaches to the wall but this would be a floor magnet for certain situations i'll try to insert a photo here um I probably will forget, but I will try my best. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so to wire it up, you just take this magnet out of the um, chassis. So basically this part right here is just a, uh, I think it's probably cast aluminum. I'm not really sure. It is some sort of aluminum. Um, something I really don't particularly like about this is the fact that there's no knockout on the side for conduit because I'd assume that if you're installing a magnet on the floor there would be certain applications where you might want to run conduit to it because it's on the floor um but it only has knockouts on the bottom so you have to run wire through the floor which is out of the question I am not running wire through a concrete floor um so maybe i'll work something out with this but for now this is just a cool collection piece oh fun fun fact i bought this thing for 2.95 free shipping and i mean two dollars and 95 cents free shipping i don't even know how the seller managed to ship it for that much but i'm sure it was a loss on his part but either way um it was a really cheap magnet brand new in box too so um i'm talking too much let me just wire this up all right so i have remove the cover to wire it obviously you have to remove the actual magnet there's this little plastic cover you snap off to access the terminals um you need a really small screwdriver to work on these so i would just be aware of that um this green wire here is unused unless you you have to ground this in this situation i'm just using 24 volts you don't really need a ground for that but if you really wanted to you, i guess you could to be extra safe um, but for now, I'm just going to put that cover back on, and we're going to go ahead and power on the magnet. So, right now, if I were to put this magnet here, it's going to stick, and it's going to be really strong. There's no way in hell I'm going to be able to pull this thing off. Like, this is designed to hold uh, fire doors that are really, really heavy, um, so your fingers are absolutely no match for this electromagnet. What is a match for this electromagnet is cutting the electricity off. So if I go ahead and cut power, you can see it drops the magnet. So now this is not tracting anything anymore and the door is gonna close freely. So I'm gonna demonstrate that again. And right now it's being held. And then if I let go, it drops the magnet. So that's pretty much all to it. It's literally just a magnet. <laughs> Nothing too special about that. Um, but I might install this on my system if I have the ability to fish wire through the floor, but I don't think that's possible. So what I'm probably going to do is just get a wall mount magnet and use this somewhere else. Um, it's still a really cool little specimen. It's an electromagnet and it was $2.95 free shipping. So, I mean, who can complain? All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.